Romans chapter 4, verse 8. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. I want to give all praises and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakha, Kodash, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. Now, in this lesson I'm going into is faith counted as righteousness? Is faith, our faith, counted as righteousness? Okay, and you better hope so. <laughs> because if you're walking around depending on your flesh to get you out of this situation to righteousness, you know, and ultimately changed, our body changed, okay, and being perfect, then you're doomed, man. Period. All right. The scriptures talk about us getting this truth. All right. This treasure in earthen vessels and this horrible flesh would dwell of no good thing as the scriptures say. So let's read. Let's go back to the top of Romans chapter four and let's start at verse one. It says, what shall we say then that Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh, have found? For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before Yahweh. Okay, not before Yahweh Bashem Shai. And that goes for all of us. Okay, in your flesh dwell no good things. So you got to look for a whole nother outlet for hope. <laughs> Think about that. We have to look for a whole nother outlet outside of ourselves and our flesh for hope and salvation. You can't save yourself. Okay? You're doomed without faith in your how about Shmi how shy. All right. Let's keep reading. Verse 3, it says, For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed your how about Shmi how shy, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Let's read this again. For what saith the scripture? Let's stick to the scriptures. Abraham believed Yahweh. And it was counted unto him for righteousness. So your faith and belief in Yahweh Bashem Shai is counted unto you for righteousness. You have to understand that. Okay, so though we fall short in the flesh, you know, and we still transgress the laws and we go off. Okay, we have hope through our faith in Yahweh Bashem Shai that is not counted to our death. All right. That is not counted to our death. That's why I started with verse eight. I read that again. I bounce back down here. Verse eight. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Right, man. OK. And the only way the Lord is going to do that is through your faith in your how about your mouth shot. Now, think about that. That's how important. OK. Faith is to your how about your mouth shot. It's super important to your salvation. It's super important to your survival in this truth. In this wicked world, it's getting darker and darker as we see. Very clear. It's getting very wicked, man. Thick darkness. Okay, let's go up back to three. I read it again. Verse three. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed Yahweh, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Okay, so meditate upon that. Verse four. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justified the ungodly. Ooh, let's read this again. But to him that worketh not, but believe on him that justified the ungodly. His faith is counted for righteousness. That's how pure and strong faith is. Okay, when your faith is in Yahweh Bashemi Hawashai, sincerely, and it's a pure faith in Yahweh Bashemi Hawashai. Do you see how strong it is? I just read it. His faith is counted for righteousness. Okay, your belief in Yahweh Bashemi Hawashai. That's why when Yahweh Shai hit the scene, okay, he spoke a lot about faith and belief. Strongly, man, to his disciples, to the people around. He spoke heavily about faith and belief in him and the father. All right. So it's all throughout the scriptures where you read and you can see this. OK, verse six, even as David also described the blessedness of the man unto whom Yahweh imputeth righteousness without works. 
Okay? Meaning you believe. You have faith. Now, to make a quick point, the scriptures talk about faith is dead without works. Okay? Because it comes together. Okay? It comes together. But before you have done anything towards the faith, so your works comes through your faith. Okay? But for example, did, did Abraham get the promise because he did works? No. He got the promise because he believed. And through his belief, he had works. Okay? That complemented his belief. That complemented his faith. You got to understand that. Let's go to verse 7. Saying, blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. And that's through the blood of Yahweh Shai. That's why when you have faith in Yahweh Shai, it is huge to the Father. You have peace with the Father. You can read that in the next chapter. Chapter 5, verse 1 through 2. Okay? Think about that, man. Yahweh Shai's blood is going to cover your sins if you have faith and belief in him. Okay? But it has to be sincere to have that access to those spiritual things, like it says in Romans 5, chapter Verse eight, blessed is the man to whom the Lord would not impute sin. So there you go. Is your faith counted as righteousness? Yes, it is. OK, it's very important. You remember that through your walk. Very, very crucial, man. Let's go to Romans chapter one. Let's read verse 17. For therein is the righteousness of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai revealed. OK, so it's being revealed from faith to to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith and you can read that in Habakkuk okay it says that man the just shall live by faith I think uh, chapter 2 it says that alright so as it is written the just shall live by faith okay so that is being revealed in this time that faith is our righteousness okay and then our works complement our faith through our faith. Okay, but it's all about faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's why it says, The just shall live by it. The just shall live by faith. Verse 18 For the wrath of Yahweh is revealed from heaven against all the ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Right, so let's break it down. Who hold the truth with no faith? Okay, who holds the truth? And no faith. That's what it's talking about, man. You know the truth. You learned it. But you really don't really believe in it. You really don't have that much faith in it. Okay. Now, how can you do that and expect to live when I read verse 17 at the end? The just shall live by faith. So think about it. Think about that. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Right. So it's impossible to please him without faith. Period, man. That should tell you something. That our faith is counted for righteousness. Because without it, you cannot please him. So when you're walking around thinking, I keep the law, I keep the law, all of them. I'm so great in the law. Okay. But where's your faith at, man? In your how about Shimmy Hawa Shai? Think about that. Are you going to act like the wicked Pharisees when your Shai came on the scene and all they was talking about was a law, 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 but they had no faith in your Shai? You don't want to be them. Okay. Because your Shai said you shall die in your sins. You need no physician. We need a physician. So through our faith in your Shai, we get that physician, we get that mercy, we get that advocate to help us, to strengthen us, to speak up for us, to Yahweh, to the Father. It's all through our faith. All that is happening through our faith in Yahweh Bashem Shai. Now, how powerful is that? That lets you know how powerful faith is, man. That's your lifeline. Okay, to Yahweh Bashem Shai. The fear of the Lord and faith. Okay, got to bring in the fear of the Lord. Because even though we're under grace, you know, we were not given license to sin and be a wild person out here. So you got to point that out. 
Last scripture, let's go to James chapter 2, verse 10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. Right. So right there lets you know we're not justified by the law. Okay. And we can't keep the law. But we got to strive and, you know, keep it to the best of our ability. Then how the hell do we get out of here? How? Okay, we're sitting here trapped in this horrible flesh. We'll dwell of no good thing. And we're still in that flesh right now. So what do we do? Got to have faith. The just shall live by faith. And you got to remember that, man. So you got to examine your faith daily. You have to really work on your faith because your faith is powerful. It can move mountains. Like how Shai said. Okay, the faith of a mustard seed, the grain of a mustard seed. Okay, so understanding this is very, very crucial to your survival in its truth. Because I'm going to say it again. If you're dependent on your flesh to get you up out of here, you are a complete fool and you do not understand the truth. You're not reading. You're not learning. You're not listening to the prophets at all through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. These are not my words. These are the words, okay, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai to guide us to get up out of here, man. Okay, so we can keep our hope alive even though we're in this horrible flesh. we we'll dwelleth no good thing. Okay, so yes, your faith is counted for righteousness. So build it up, increase it through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Pray for it. You can fast for it as well. Do what you got to do to pick up your faith. So with that, I hope you're edified. I want to give our praises and honor to Yahweh Bashim Shai Bashim Rakak Wadash for giving the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to Yaakamak that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.